Oh, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair. Hi, people. Um, what's up? Hope everybody had a good Wednesday. Hopefully, I wish today was Friday, but it's not. Um, anyways, on the beginning of this video, I want to make sure I get something out before I move on to anything else. We are hiring. We are hiring for front desk at Titan Medical Center in Tampa, Florida. And I'm also finally going to pull the trigger. I'm going to get a personal assistant. I am over being stressed out all the time. What's up, Steven? I actually wanted to write you the other day to tell you about your the story that I read on Facebook that I never get to go on Facebook and read any stories. I did actually like your story that you wrote the other day, and I definitely think that that kid deserved it. Just saying. Anyways, what's up, Cheryl? How are you? What up, Bob? How are you guys? So anyways, we are hiring. So do me a favor and inbox me or, you know, send me your resume, type medical center at Gmail. And, or if you know somebody that'd be good for the position, let me know and um, tag them in this video. But I will say, I know that I seem like a super cool person and I really am like super awesome and nice when I want to be. But when it comes to work and it comes to Titan Medical Center, I will say that I am very detail oriented. I like to be surrounded by other people that are very detail oriented. I like to be surrounded by people that are driven like us and that want to work. I don't know what is up with today's generation, okay? But people don't want to work, but they want the money. I don't understand. So anyways, I got John in the kitchen tonight. So listen, so John does this thing forever now where he makes the steaks, right? Now, thank the Lord, baby Jesus, that he makes these steaks or I would have nothing to eat ever. Um, so thankfully, he makes these steaks or I would starve to death. What's up, James? Hi, Heather. What's up, Connie? So anyways, I wanted to show you how he makes these steaks because I was thinking about it the other night and I'm like, damn, I'm like, you've really simplified this steak making. And other people are like, oh, you got to throw it on the grill and then it takes forever. And just, it's just not really like, it's not really like, this is a lot smarter to do it this way anyways. So, um, he does, he comes home, what, what is it, every like three days? Yeah, it's usually every three days. Every three days he makes like, one, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12 steaks. Hi, little cousin. Um, yeah, so he makes like 10 steaks and he puts them in the broiler, but I'll let him tell you kind of like what he does, you know, over here. What's up guys? So, uh little thing about me so I eat this every morning and every night so two fillets eight ounces they come vacuum sealed um, and I would dare you to look up this company online because no, don't tell them. it was well, just it's very expensive if you're gonna try to buy it so uh, I have a food what distributor at that point these things are so fresh and they're very lean so no you, you don't have to be you know go the expensive route you can go good fillets or New York's and just lean them up Never. But it's real simple, real easy, and it's, it's pretty simple. You can do it in your own kitchen, right? So, I mean, if you have them vacuum sealed, awesome. If not, defrost them. Um, I'm pretty simple about what I put on them. It's only pepper. Simple. And garlic salt. Fancy shoes. Right? Real simple, real easy. And some people tell me, why don't you cut up your own garlic? Well, I just don't have time. I apologize. So I'm using garlic. Salt. Any of you guys that want to cut um, up our garlic at our house will happily, or you can send us some fresh, garlic. That's cool. Fresh. Um, I'll so give you a discount. Point, you can do that. So let me wash my hands real quick because I don't want to cross contaminate here. Yeah, nobody wants to do that, James. Anyway, say, I, I'll let you guys say hi to Zoe. Hi, Zoe. the baby, the boo boo. Um, John gave me this new little thingy too. It's a. Uh, it's a oh, stick it's a thing. thing? <laughs> it's a it's a stick, and it holds my phone. So that way, when I take my ECAs and I'm like, then it doesn't do that, and I can like hold it, and it doesn't like make me look all cracked out, you know. So. All right. What up, Jody? Hi. So part two, you're just gonna season these real simple, real easy, just a little bit. So a little pinch. I mean, just a black pepper. I don't put anything else on there. I'm really, really cautious about the sodium on my intake, usually. So I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt on there. This is why I use A1 steak sauce, just and to make sure we guys, spice it up some. with my steaks, I don't use any sauce. So no A1, no Heinz, no nothing like that. It's just a steak, literally. You know, the best part about him cooking these steaks is not only do I get something to eat, but he does it with his shirt off. I'm like, yay. 
that's it. I'm sorry. I, I'm in. I'm in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> so at that point, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's been a long day. You know, while you season that, I'll tell them a funny story. So listen, the other day, this is true story, and you, I know you guys like to hear true stories because it's true. Um, the other day, we were somewhere. Uh, I don't know, some mall or something, and we like had to valet the car real quick, and we both valeted vehicles. Anyways, long story short. We ran in. We were gone for like maybe 10 minutes, not even. Ran back outside. John is literally dressed in jeans. I forget where we're going that night. Oh, we're going to our anniversary dinner. This is Monday. So anyways, yeah, so dressed in up. jeans, like nice V-neck, looking all nice. Got his little Versace belt on. I mean, just straight, just looking all like, mmm, right? And so he walks over because he's trying to find the valet guy. And... Okay. There's another dude that's standing there with a jacket, right? So he walks up, you know, we know who the valet is. So, of course, we're not going to ask, like, you know, are you valet? Because we know it's not. But this guy had the audacity, whatever. That's just me being me and saying that he had the audacity. He really had the audacity to ask John, who's wearing a leather jacket and a Versace belt, if he is the valet. I want to know what valet wears a leather jacket and a Versace belt. Good Maybe in Vegas. Nah, Zalex. not even in Vegas. They are wearing like a button down or something, but not, not that, yeah. not that. Anyways, he wasn't even getting his car out of LA. I think he was looking for an Uber, which was very odd. But anyways, I had to share that because I thought it was hilarious. That's the part three. Put them in for 20 minutes, 10 to 12 fillets. 20 minutes, they'll be done. And you can recook them in the, in, the, in the microwave. But you don't cook them. I mean, the thing is, is that you cook some. Hi, Emily. I love you. I got your text message. I just wrote you back. What up, Eric? Hi, Bobby. And what up, Jerome, Romy, Rome? Anyways, he only puts them in for X period of time. So that way, when we do reheat them, they don't taste all rubbery and gross. So or dried out. Dried out. And I like my stuff like medium well. I don't like anything crawling off my plate or mooing as it's coming to the table. I really do like dead animals on my, you know, to eat. I don't like them half alive. Well, rare, or medium, or any of that. That's really yucky. He wanted to insult him. <laughs> Eric will like he, he wanted to insult him in front of his wife. Actually, you know what I did? Because I am who I am, and my mouth just goes 500 miles per minute. Um, I do usually think about what I say before I say it now that I've had to force myself to do that But I'm the one that brought that up to the guy when I walked out. I was like, ha 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 Oh, like really? I was like, oh my god. I didn't know um, a valet guy that Wears a Versace belt and a leather jacket with jeans all dressed up He's like you never know. I'm like, yeah, no um, So anyways, uh, let's see. I'm cooking steak now meow um, Eric said he's cooking some steak now. How are you cooking your steaks, Eric? Are you cooking them on broil high for 20 minutes with salt and wait, garlic, garlic, garlic salt. my bad, garlic salt, garlic, salt okay. and pepper. Tell them to come to the Vinoy. They can value the exotic cars there. Oh yeah. So listen, let me just share my excitement. Besides the fact that I really, really need a personal assistant. Um, and I really, really need a front desk girl because the front desk girl that I have right now, who is amazing, she's amazing, I love her, her name's Amanda, um, she's pregnant. She can have her baby in like two weeks. So um, that puts us down a person and God only knows how awesome it gets at the office when we're down a person. So what up Fabian? Hi Tina. What up Danny? I hope you're beating some booty out there. I would love to come see your next fight. So if, if you can text me so I know when the next fight is and I can plan accordingly in my little black book. Um, it's, John says it's coming up, but I don't know when that is. So we got busy weekends coming up ahead of us. Um, but anyways, I'm super, super excited for Gasparilla. Me and John were super, super high advocates of going to Gasparilla in the first few years of us being together since we were young and we had this energy and we can go out and have a good old time and not feel like total shit for a week. I'm um, trying to recover from one day of drinking. So now one day of drinking results in like three days of recovery. It's super, super jacked. Yeah, Friday, damn it. I'll see, let me see if I can make that Friday one. 
Um, but yeah, so this Saturday we have a float and we're the main sponsors for the 933 FLZ float. We're sponsoring that float. So it's type medical float. And that's so cool. I'm super excited. And we got some really cool people are going to be on the float with us and we'll be giving out shirts. Too bad they're not going to let us have shirt cannons because that would be cool. And I have really, 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 really great aim. Um, so anyways, yeah, shirt cannons are awesome, but you know what? This this bad boy right here, this arm right here, this is just as good as a cannon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We won't talk about that. Some Watch of you. Your face. Wait, somebody, some people know about this cannon. Watch your head face. Not everybody, and we want to keep it that yeah. way. I have a lot to lose nowadays, so I've I learned to think about things before <laughs> acting. You know, John has taught me well, real well. Um, so, anyways, uh, we got that, and we'll also be giving away some beads. I'm super excited to be on the float, and I'm super excited to share this with them. We actually have a lot of friends with 93.3 and 95.7 over here, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so we got that coming up, and then the following weekend, do we have anything going on the following weekend? Yeah, I think it's the the second. I think we're doing the Super Bowl, Super Bowl something. I don't know. I'll get there yeah. when I get there. This is a day-by-day -day thing for me, man. I'm like super bogged down at the moment with all the stuff we have going on. Me and John are going to laser... Throwing them shirts at people. Sharice may kill someone with... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you ever seen somebody get hurt with a shirt? Hurt with a shirt? Leave, leave it to me. Hurt with a shirt. Leave it to me to hurt somebody with a shirt. Yeah, with with a, shirt. a piece of cotton. I mean, come on. Cotton. I mean, I mean, even ice. Ice is like water. You know, I don't know what happens. Like, whenever you throw ice or whatever, it just... It should evaporate before it hits anyone, right? For some reason, my pieces of ice fly, and they fly quickly. I don't know why they fly so quickly. We won't talk about my throwing no. issues, okay? Um, what up, Derek? How are you guys? Hi, Jackie! Jackie, let me know you're doing this Saturday. I might have something special up my sleeve for you if you ain't busy. Um, so anyways, I'm super happy you guys tuned in today. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys that I definitely need a personal assistant. I need a front desk girl. I might even need a medical assistant um, because we're just busy. And, you know, I, I hate to have all of my girls stress out. I will say, though, we have a badass team at the office. For real. We got a super badass team. The team of girls we have on right now are amazing and they're smart and they can deal with me being crazy and OCD all the time. I'm one of those people that will call up to the office and say, hey, I need to get this done for this patient right now. Right now means like five minutes ago. It doesn't mean like in one hour that I want an answer. Or I might call up and be like, hey, I need to know about this, 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 and this. I wanna know now. Like I'll wait on hold for the answer. Like I don't want to get a call back. Like I wanna know now. So I'm one of those now people and uh, some people can handle it and some people can't. So if you do apply for the position, you need tough skin. You need to be smart. Um, you know, being pretty is also a plus. Let them know. And uh, what? If they're going to refer anybody, let them know. Please let them know if you refer them because I'm seriously, I'm like the coolest person on the planet. Seriously. And we do take super good care of our employees slash family. You can ask any single one of them and they will tell you. We take very good care of them. But... There's one catch to that, is that I like things done quickly. Everything is of urgency and it, it, you have to be competent, okay? When you people are like, I'm so detail oriented and my whole house, it's like so in order and like my closet, like if you walked in it, this is in their interview, you know, if you walked in it, then everything would be so perfect and I'm just so like, everything has to be so perfect. They get in there and I'm like, I would hate to see your house right now. Seriously, like you need to really get with the program people. So, um, yeah, just make sure you share that with them so we don't waste their time and they don't waste my time. You know, time is of the essence. Time is money. And that's 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 a very true statement. Um, what up, Myrna Lee? Are you going to come down here and work for me or what, man? You keep talking all that shit over there that you're going to drive down from Chicago, okay, and come down here. So if you think you're capable, come on down. You come on down with Mr. Zito. Um... So anyways, yeah, yeah, everybody's going to be walking, rocking red that day for sure. Hi, Jackie. I love you. Long time. And then, um, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Okay. I need to relocate. Yeah, I just said that. I literally just said that. 
Jason, what's up? Are you guys going to go to Gasparilla this weekend? Everybody goes to Gasparilla. It's like a national holiday. Seriously. Isn't it a national holiday? Yeah, here in here. Florida? Tampa, especially. Yeah, people come from everywhere. Yeah. And like all the pirate stuff and all the stores are all sold out. And it's just, I mean, I had to come up with a Titan outfit that's like piratey in like one week. So, but you guys are going to like the outfits because they're badass because that's just what we do. We do badass shit. Um, so anyways, you want to say hi, John? Lewis? Oh, we'll be there. So listen, I plan on going somewhere after. <laughs> I say that right now, but you know, this thing start. I don't know when it like this parade started at two o'clock, but last I recall, we we're out like in Gasparilla land. You're out there at like. Nine o'clock in the morning, uh, yeah, that, and everyone shit faced by like ten or ten thirty. That's like really super weird. and super super shit faced. I, I mean, like they that. can't even walk straight. They're all over the street, and everybody's all thrown up everywhere. It's interesting if you've never been to it's it. It's a good time, but it's always fun. Always it's a fun. Good time. Just I think there should be okay. So we're gonna be on a float, so it's a little bit different. So, you know, I'm not going to have people stepping on my shoes and throwing up and, or, you know, bumping into me or whatever. Um, but we're going to be on the floats. It's a little bit different. Back in the day, we have like a cutoff time. The cutoff time is usually like three or four o'clock and people start getting stupid or, you know, whatever. The crazy things go down after three. Yeah. Crazy well, just, things. Just people are more intoxicated, I guess. Intoxication. But some people can't handle their... Liquor. Some people cannot handle their um, liquor. And the, it's just, it's a, like, <laughs> it's like after five <laughs> miles of blocked off street. It is like blocked off, like Mardi Gras type blocked off for like five miles. And there are just thousands of people. And all they want is beads. And, like, all these houses that are located, because this is, like, right on Bayshore. Oh, they're Island all having Ocean. parties, yeah. They're all having parties. And then the boats. The boats are all coming in because what's happened is, in 1905, Gaspar was a pirate. He invaded Tampa Bay. And that they do the reenactment of the, the invasion. And at that point, it's like, cool. all these boats are out there, too. I'm talking about hundreds, if not thousands of boats are out there. Hundreds and hundreds, of, not thousands. So, I mean... It's real cool. I mean, I, it's going to have media coverage of Gore, so I can't wait. Yeah, excited. Peace out, made? Eric. Huh? Are we getting banners made? Uh, yeah. Is six of banners Ryan, made? Ryan, right? I'll Is tag you in this video so you can make sure. Uh, um. Anyways, what float number? Not a freaking clue. Ooh, I'll we'll have to find that out. I'm sure. Oh, listen, I'm lucky if I show up to the radio station on time. And I got to be there on time because if not, then they're going to shuttle off without me. And then I got to drive the Hummer and find a parking spot and fight through 500 people to get to where I need to be. And it's just it's not good. That so and I'm late to everything. That literally, I think I'm like at least an hour late to like any birthday dinners, even my own. So, yeah, it's not a good thing. You know, I've gotten better over the years. John tells me that it's not not nice or professional to be late to anything so you know i've tried to be a little bit more punctual because he told me 15 no. minutes early to anything you're going to that means you're on time for it mm -hmm. my on time is 15 minutes one hour after i was supposed to be there so a good tip is and she's using it and i've always used it is set your watch 15 <laughs> minutes or a half an hour fast no no i what i do see good. yeah i did do the 15 minute she thing like I did do the 15 minute thing, like John told me, so I could fake my times. But now what I start doing is in my, cause I have a little black planner. I know it's like super old school, but I need a book. Like I'm a paper girl, you know? I'm not up with this technology shit. Um, but anyways, I use a little black planner. If it's not in the planner, it doesn't happen. But if somebody says, oh, I need you to be there by like five, I'll put in the planner four so that I am there by like five, 15. So then I'm on time. Right? That's right. Yeah, see him on time. Trying to be on time anyway. <laughs> what up, Brett? How are you? I hope all is well. What up, Stacy? Anyways, I'm going to sign off. John's almost done cooking these steaks that are going to last us for three days. I don't know what I would do without these awesome steaks. And then I just got a notification that Uber Eats is almost here to my home. They just started delivering to this zip code because we live in the boonies. Um, and, uh, I ordered me some, uh, chicken and some broccoli and a baked potato and John has a burger coming. They have good burgers there. 
Yeah, the hamburgers like are burgers. good. Yeah, good. Mm-hmm. French fries suck when they get here and they're soggy and disgusting and gross and soggy and gross some more. Um, so anyways, guys, please, if you know anybody that wants to get paid well, have a good paying position and um, exponentially grow within a company because there's a lot of room for advancement, please let me know. Um, please don't send anybody to me that is not capable of handling me. Um, those of you that actually know me out there do know exactly what I'm talking about. So be awesome to just filter through those people so I don't have to waste any time. Um, anyways, hope all is well guys. And I will talk to you soon. John says, bye. Bye guys. With his Titan hat, no shirt. Super sexy. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. See ya. Bye.